What's up YouTube? This is Bait here, back again with another Pokemon Black and White Wi-Fi battle. And today I'm gonna bring you guys a rarely used uh, RU tier match. Haven't done one in a uh, quite some time. But actually a while ago there was a Dreamworld event called uh, Spooky Manor, which actually uh, meant that uh, pokes such as um, Prankster, Sableye and... Uh, Prankster, Sableye, and uh, Magic Guard Alakazam, they got released. So I actually decided to uh, make a team kind of around them, throw some uh, random guys and uh, see how it goes. And they are both actually available at uh, rarely used here as of now. I'm kind of thinking that they will rise though. So I kind of also wanted to uh, try them out in RU while I still can. And uh, I got this match with uh, Silent Slash. And it actually turned out to be a really interesting match. I really like this match. So, um, Without further ado, let's get this uh, battle started. Um, he leads with Svelo, I countered that with my Omastar. I was actually really wondering what he would lead with, but uh, it works out okay, because I have my Omastar. And uh, right, off ba right off the bat, I just go for the uh, knockoff as he U-turns into his Manectric and gets the Static. And I have no idea which item I knocked off, because uh, he fucked up with his name. So, Specs or Scarf, but anyways, I knock off his choice item. He goes for hidden power and I was like, crab, it's that grass, as I go in my Pipitar. But I actually take it really well, thanks to Evilite. And I've been actually really wanting to try out this guy for a long time, and now I kind of got the chance. So, um, I go for the DD on the switch, because the hidden power doesn't really do that much. In comes Yen Mega, I know he can, you know, one-shot me with anything. He actually also carries a uh, hidden power ground, I'm thinking. But I'm gonna go for the SMACKDOWN, and I'm just literally going to smack this thing down, and down it goes. So, that's nice, uh, Pupitar gets a kill, and uh, in comes the Manectric again though, which is going to force me out. And I go into my, ma my Magneton, on this Manectric, and I take the Hidden Power, gets a crit, doesn't matter. And this is where the uh, knockoff kinda ends up biting me in the ass. And also, I kind of forgot that these things get a, you know, usually they have flame power, but this thing has overheat, which is, you know, going to do the same thing and just fry me. But, uh, thanks to minus two, I can go back into my Pupitar, and um, I should be able to live this uh, next hit, which I do with 23, and I go for the rest. And uh, Pupitar's ability, as you may know, is Shed Skin, so if I get lucky, I may get the early wake up and uh, possibly do some setting up but here I know that he's gonna switch out and since I didn't get the wake up I'm just gonna switch out myself and uh, since I already lost my magneton with wall switch uh, this is one of the few chances that I'm going to get uh, to activate my swellow's guts ability so I just go for it and I smack this uh, clay doll with a facade which does do a lot and I'm thinking he's gonna switch out now hoping to uh, possibly spin or uh, set up his rocks later, so I go for the pursuit and he does switch out, so I get a chance to knock this thing out, which is nice. So no more rapid spin, no more stealth rocks for him, which is nice, because uh, now uh, my Omastar, which is actually my team's uh, spiker slash stealth rocker, now it can do some shenanigans hopefully later on in this match. So anyways, I go into my Pupitar on this uh, Dusk Noir, which actually has the uh, Brick break, so I don't really want to stay in because I didn't get the wake up again. And I do have Sableye, which unfortunately I uh, brought a wrong Sableye for this match because this thing actually doesn't have a Will O Wisp. This is a Sableye that I made long, long time ago, and uh, it's a um, Torment Taunt one, but it doesn't really work at all in this case. I really would have liked to have the. Um, what you might call it, the uh, Willow Wisp one, but uh, you know I brought the wrong one, so I kind of have to uh, you know suffer right now since I can't can't burn this uh, Dusk Noir, which would have been really nice because he seems to be purely physical attacking offensive Dusk Noir. So, uh, anyways, I switch into my um, Omastar because I want to set up my rocks now. Now that his uh, Rapid Spinner is gone, I can just do it safely. And he goes for Sucker Punch here, and I get. Paralyzed, which is really unfortunate because I went for spikes, so I could have got a one free layer, but uh, now I can't. And he actually goes into his um, what's this thing? Um, Umbreon, and I get parahaxed again. So there goes my two free layers of spikes, which is you know kind of really annoying because it would have been really nice against this Umbreon. 
and his Dusk Noir especially. But uh, he goes for a pursuit, I don't really know why, but uh, I don't even know why he has it on his Umbreon, because Umbreon has like the worst attack stat ever, but uh, I guess it works in some cases, I don't know. Anyways, I digress, I keep on sending uh, more spikes and now that he realizes that he's gonna just directly switch into his uh, Manectric, and I really can't stay in. And I want to wall his uh, swallow for later on, so I switch out, I go back into my Pipitar. He actually goes for that hidden power again, which I'm still thinking is ice. And um, I actually wake up here, which is really nice, thanks to Shed Skin. And I'm just really hoping that maybe I can live another hit and go for the rest, but I just don't. But still, Pipitar did great. I really love this thing, it was able to, you know, rest off and uh, kill Yen Mega, which is nice. But anyways, I send out my Swello, I just go for the facade, thinking, you know, he might also predict my pursuit, and that is the case, he stays in and dies. And in comes Umbreon, and I'm just gonna stay in, because I figure this is gonna be my last chance to uh, inflict some damage, and he also might pursue me, although he goes for Protect, but uh, he has his Dusk Noir with Sucker Punch, and his own Swello, which I would have to risk the speed high on, so I'm just gonna stay in, and actually, after the Flame Orb, I am going to survive with 1 HP. So I was thinking, what should I do? And then I remembered the wise words of Fizzy Stardust. Spade, you know what you have to do. Brave Bird everything. And so I braced for the impact and I went for the biggest Brave Bird of all time. And here it comes. And the HP goes down slowly. Slowly, the time stops moving, and finally, down goes the Umbreon, with a critical hit, granted by the man himself, Fizzy Stardust. That was for you, Fizzy. That was for you. Thank you, man. Thank you. And now, the match continues as normal. So, now I should most likely be able to handle the rest of his team with my, um, uh, Omastar here. And uh, he goes into this well, oh, just U-turns on me, doesn't really do anything, because I actually have max HP, max defense. I was, again, trying out the support set, uh, kind of the same that I tried out uh, quite some time ago, but I actually now decided to put a knockoff, uh, just because it's kind of useful in rarely used tier, where everything and its mother is carrying a white light and such. And it worked out in this case too, knocked off some leftovers and... Um, Whatchamacallit, choice specs, or scarf, I still don't know. Anyways, I knock off his leftovers indeed, and uh, I just uh, keep wearing him down with skulls. He goes for a brick break, doesn't do much, cause it's a weak move, and not even stab, and I actually do get finally the burn, which is nice. Kinda speeds up the process for me, and uh, since I knocked off his leftovers, he's not gonna be able to generate enough HP to survive the burn hits, and he goes down. And now his last guy will be the Swellow, and he's just gonna Brave Bird me, but it doesn't do anything, because he doesn't have his uh, Flame Orb activated, which I just knock off. I actually just should have gone for the uh, Scald, but, uh, you know, I was kind of worrying if it would kill, because I don't have any special attack EVs, although it most likely would have, because Swellow is just that frail. But now I go for the Scald, I will take him out, and that will be the game! So, I hope you guys enjoyed this match. If you did, comment, like, and Brave Bird everything. And, uh, again, special thanks to uh, Fizzy Stardust for his uh, awesome random cameo that he did. I really appreciate it, man. So, uh, if you haven't checked out uh, Fizzy's channel, I will leave a link in the description. So, uh, you know, if you haven't seen his stuff yet, you, you guys should definitely go check him out, he's a really entertaining guy, so link will be in the description. And also a link to my opponent's channel if you wanna check him out, I think he also posts uh, battles. But I guess uh, this will be all for today, well I guess I could have a question of the day, uh, since I did use the new Dreamworld guys, uh, Prankster Sableye and uh, Magic Guard Alakazam. What do you think about these guys? Um, do you think they are going to go up in the tiers? Uh, what are your predictions? I'm at least thinking that they will both at least go to UU. Because uh, Prankster Sableye is really useful, really annoying and a really good poke. And uh, so is Magic Guard Alakazam. So, yeah, th those are my predictions that they're gonna go at least one tier up, and also I think there's a 
you know, uh, prankster uh, Illumis and Wallbeat with, uh, you know, a Tail Glow, plus three baton passing, that's kind of interesting as well. Although, you know, they're not as good, but still those are released now, so, uh, you know, you might be seeing those in the future battles. Uh, but, uh, yeah, uh, leave your thoughts about that, and uh, I will check you guys and I will brave bird you guys uh, later. So uh, until then, this is the Flaming Spade signing out. Peace. Spade, Brave Bird, everything! <laughs>